All right, so now we're going to get into drill number two, which is going to be the exact same drill as drill number one with the one-hander, but we're adding the big camwood bat, and we're going to add this top hand into the swing, okay? And when we add this top hand, we want to make sure that the top hand is wide open because one of the biggest issues I see are players are top hand dominant. It's going to force them to come around right. and roll over that ball every single time, right? right? So with the, uh, with the top hand wide open, it's going to prevent us from wanting to be top hand dominant. And this top hand is pretty much going on for a ride. It doesn't do anything in the swing. We're not pushing with the top hand. We're not doing any of that. We're just driving the hands inside the ball. And this top hand is going to finish palm up to the opposite field, yeah. which is where we're trying to hit this ball. Exactly. Exactly. I pro you would probably say you don't feel a lot of tension in your top hand either. Not at all. It's, it's literally just sitting on the back. Again, it's back to kind of the one hand drill. The looser we are, the easier it's going to move. We would exactly. just want to feel that pull motion, pulling down past the ball, same line. Only difference, we got two hands and an open top hand. Yep, exactly. The only thing that we're doing is relaxing our hands, top hand open, and I'm seeing how hard I can drive my hands past the inside of the ball towards the pitcher and let the barrel follow through naturally. We're not trying to force the barrel through. Right. We're not swinging the bat. All we're doing is pulling our hands inside the ball and letting the rest happen. Yeah, it's like, it's like two cars driving in the same line. We have a bat and a ball trying to connect and make contact. Yep. If those cars stay in separate lanes, they never hit. If our sweet spot goes outside right. of that line, yep. they never collide. There's just a minute chance that they had to make contact. Exactly. Frank talks about it all the time. You have four thousandths of a second to make solid contact. Yep. That's, I mean, faster than that. Plate. So, so anything you do to take your bat is off just, of that plane is just crushing is your swing. Yep. So you have to be so serious about keeping the body still and yep. really staying straight. The only thing the hands do is drive straight, straight to the ball. The ball. And that's one of the main things I see is kids try to swing this bat. Yeah. We're not swinging. We're just driving. All it is, it's a pull motion. We're pulling the hands inside the ball, and then we're just letting the rest happen. The barrel will naturally follow through yeah. the zone. So we get in our stance, nice and relaxed. And as a hitter, all I'm thinking about is just pulling the hands inside the ball. You'll see it's a hard line drive every time. So if I just pull the hands inside the ball, the barrel will follow straight on the sweet spot every time. Yeah. And when we finish, this top hand should be palm up to the opposite field. And you know, some folks may say the bat feels a little heavy. My first comment would be pull it faster. Correct. Because the faster you pull, the looser you pull, the less you're going to feel the weight. The longer I pull, the longer I hold that weight and the farther I get away from my body, the heavier exactly. it's going to feel. The slower I'm going to move that bat through the zone. And that's so, the thing, this is a heavier bat. Yeah. And by design, yeah. if it comes out away from your body, it's designed for you to feel the weight. It's supposed right? to do that. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's how you know that you're swinging it incorrectly. And if you can just relax your hands and pull, I'm never going to feel the weight exactly. of this bat. My personal camera was 64 ounces. Yeah. So if I came out around the ball at all, I felt it. Oh, yeah. Tear no, my shoulder yeah, off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but so yeah, if you can just stay nice, loose, relax, and just drive the hands inside the ball, you'll see a hard line drive every time.